Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaquim. And God just put this word on my spirit today to talk about long suffering. Long suffering. What is long suffering? Meaning to endure persecutions, endure temptations, endure waiting on the Lord to bless you and continue to have faith in your most distressed times in life. Just having that endurance to keep on going when all things are fighting against you. The devil is attacking you back to back to back. You're going through temptations and urges back to back to back. You're waiting for God for years. Because that's what long suffering is. It's not just months. It's years. It could be five years, ten years. Until God releases you in his perfect timing. See, long suffering is something this world today don't have. For we live in a society of instant gratification. Everybody wants things now, 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 now. No one has patience. I remember when I was back in the day, when I was in a certain situation, I was talking to somebody at the time, just a friend or an associate, I should say, an associate. And this person lacked patience. And they used to be like, you know, people used to tell them to be patient, be patient, but they just lacked the patience. They always wanted things right away. And the bad things about wanting things right away is when you get them, you won't appreciate them. You won't understand the deep, deeper meanings of things. And you can fumble what you have. Right? So that's why long suffering for the Lord is very important. So you can get the understanding, the knowledge, the wisdom that you need that comes with the blessing. That comes with why you why are you being obedient to God? Why are you turning away from your sins? Knowing the why. Knowing your why. Now you have to really know in this why. What is your why? Why are you embarking on this journey? Why are you long suffering for God? What are you waiting on the Lord for? Are you just waiting for the blessings? Do you really love God? And this is why you go through long suffering because God wants you to realize these things during your journey. You got to be honest with yourself. Are you just trying to overcome fear, anxiety, break generational curses? The list goes on and on and on. But you got to find your reason why do you just want to understand life right and these are all forms of long suffering there's so many different viewpoints and perspectives you can go about it but it's just really enduring and waiting on the lord no matter how long that is and we're gonna start in galatians chapter 5 and verse 22 and it says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith those are the fruits of the holy spirit long suffering joy peace meekness gentleness goodness all these things are fruits of the holy spirit and in Exodus 34 and 6, it says, And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. See, we get that from our God, for our God is long-suffering. Our God has so much patience, it baffles me. 
so much mercy and compassion. It goes beyond my understanding. And probably some of y'all as well. Probably many of people who watch these videos, even the people of the world. If they really soften their hearts and come to God. That's how long suffering is. God is very patient. But don't, do not take advantage of the grace that he gives you. Because even though he loves you, you might be chosen, you might be favored. God will still punish you. Just like he did David. Just like he did Moses. Just like he did Saul. All people favored by God. But when you go against what God is telling you to do, that's in disobedience. And he will chastise you or you will receive your judgment. But he's goodness. He's abundant in goodness and truth. In Exodus 34 and 6, abundant in goodness and truth. Like God wants you to receive goodness. He wants you to receive the truth. But you have to have the faith and believe in him, trust in him, and be patient. That's the word of the day. Patience. For we're going to have to come, we're going to come into times, man, where you won't need patience. You won't need long suffering. Now why God's preparing people to do his work, to do his will, to walk this path and this journey. Because that was going to take. We see examples of this many times in the Bible. Job, when he was sick, he lost everything. Being attacked by the devil, his family, his finances, his health. His wife told him to curse God and die. His friends was coming against him. But what happened to him in the end? If y'all know that story, go read Job. It's a good book. It's a good book. And we're going to end off this video with Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering. So put that on, add that to your armor of God meekness long suffering gentleness loves always think spiritually not with your own carnal mind because we all can fall victim into that mindset we can start seeing things carnally instead of understanding everything is spiritual if god out here pouring blessings on people's lives your life, who watching this video, you about to receive a blessing. Claim it. Receive it. But you got to understand, too, the devil sees it, too. So God trying to pour out blessings. So the devil going to try to amp it up, too. He going to send out more tactics of the enemy. More of his children. To try to derail you off the assignment God has for you. That's why long suffering is important. Pay attention to the journey. Keep your eyes on the destination. Really enjoy the process. Embrace the moments. For this life is just but this life is but a shadow. So I pray this word bless you. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to God's family for all my new subscribers. Thank y'all so much. It means a lot. I pray that God blesses you. In Jesus' name.